Hi everyone. Uh, I felt guided to film this video today uh, outside. It's a beautiful day. It's sunny. There are some noises in the street, but um, I felt very good by just doing this for you guys today. And uh, you know, I just wanted to to remind you guys of what's important. You know, what is something so little that sometimes we forget, but it's 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 everything. What I'm what what I mean with this is the mirror exercise. <laughs> Sometimes we, you know, it happened to me that like, you know, the more you, you, you master that, of course you get better at it. But sometimes, you know, you just, you tend to forget that. You tend to avoid that. You know, we're like, oh, like you try to understand what's going on instead of just doing the mirror exercise, right? And the reason why you don't do it, it's because sometimes it's something that really upsets you, right? And it's something that, uh, you know, your twin flame is doing and you're very upset at it. And you're like, no, 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 God. this is, this is just my twin flame being an asshole. Or this is, you know, my twin flame not understanding something. But it, that's not the truth. That's your twin flame showing you something within you. And it's easier, right, easier to avoid that, to pretend that everything is okay and that, you know, it's just your twin flame who has to change when in truth it's you who's responsible of mirroring everything. So, yeah, this was an invitation for you guys to not to forget about the tool that you need to heal everything. And even if it's something that you look and you're like, no, this for sure, this has nothing to do with me. This is not my upset. This is my twin flame. It's not it's false it's always your upset it's always triggering something within you because you are twin flame are one and so if you think that this if your twin flame is having an upset and it has nothing to do with you then you're seeing yourself and your twin flame as separate and that's not what twin flames universe um teach right like that's not what jeff and shalia teach you are one with your twin flame therefore you share one consciousness therefore whatever upset that either you or your twin flame is having it's your upset too it's always one consciousness so always find the part of you even if it's even if it's not the same situation it has to trigger something in your consciousness so always go back to the mirror exercise guys like it's very easy and and uh, simple to be in union with your twin flame to have everything that you desire and to keep uh you know keep going deeper with that yeah so with that being said where i am right now is um in ian Serras. i am at his place today and uh we've been having a lot of beautiful time together and like really partnering with each other and uh if you guys watched the last video that i made about you know the divine masculine is coming home then you will know that i was talking about how i wanted to you know i've been claiming my my marriage and how I've been claiming my, you know, moving in with my twin flame and all of those things um, that really I really desire. And then right after that, I started to, you know, partner with my twin flame more, and that felt very very good. And he helped me to move through upsets a lot. So we've been really partnering deeper. We've been spending a lot of time together more than ever before, and that have been feeling very good. We've been like uh, spending, you know, like most of the time together and uh it feels very good and it feels very peaceful and yeah we had upsets but that those upsets have been a blessing because we have been you know just conquering that and just realizing that our partnership is so strong that even upsets are nothing blocks are nothing comparing to who we are and what we desire for one another so yeah like i was saying this time that I've been really, you know, um, partnering with him and this time that I've been spending time with him, uh, I've been feeling a lot my feelings and I've been, uh, you know, my twin from has been really holding a space for me and just uh, loving me all the way and, and um, helping me to see patterns of myself. And at the beginning, I was kind of like resistant to receive his guidance. But then I realized that, you know, that's not the point. Like my twin flame is my, my ultimate lover, my best friend, my teacher, my guru. And so he's always here to teach me, right? And, and he asked me something, right? He goes, he goes like, Danny, I know you are a very good coach and I know that you're awesome and amazing, but guess what? You know, like, I don't want you to be coaching me all the time. I want you to be you. I want you to just, you know, um, 
be a human with me and to just love each other and that's it and i was like that's so true he was he actually what he was telling me is like stop babysitting me i don't need you to babysit me i need you to just let me me to love me unconditionally and to keep going with that and so he was you know so right when he uh mirror that upset to me when he showed that to me when he gave me the next piece when he said listen like you know partnership in a relationship means that you just love me unconditionally and even though it's something that I already know and something that I've been doing all this time he was just telling me it's time for you to go deeper with that it's time for us to love each other uh deeply and it's time for us to go deeper here in this place and to really partner more because in order for us to partner more we have to um we have to see each other as our own you know like as we are teaching and guiding each other instead of saying like we're competing or like i have you know like i'm the one who who who's right like it's not about like a competition we you don't compete with your train flame it's not about who's better who knows the truth like you know it's just about who how much are you loving your twin flame it's about are you really loving your man or or your or your or your woman right like are you really loving your twin flame are you really supporting your twin flame in everything are you really there for your twin flame are you really holding a space for your twin flame or are you trying are you trying to get something for your twin flame or are you trying to make your twin flame change because you don't like the reality that you are guys are in you know it's it's about that and so really think about this and and see that the only thing that you desire at the core of your heart you just want to love your twin flame that's the that's what you really desire you want to love your twin flame unconditionally and that's it you don't want to question your twin flame you don't want to tell your twin flame what is right to think what is wrong you know you don't want to do any of that shit you just want to love your twin flame and then allow your twin flame to love you there too right so this is very important guys this is a very important message for you and i really hope that you guys can really integrate this message in your hearts and really take it so you can find more peace uh Jim and shalia has they always teach this to us right like just love your twin flame it's not about you telling your twin flame like you have to think the way i think or you have to do what i do no this is about you supporting your twin flame because you know what guys like in truth you know that what you desire is going to happen because you desire and God wouldn't put a desire if you if it if it if it wasn't going to happen so if you know that you have a desire then and if you know and you trust that your desire will come uh you know will will come in the perfect timing then there is no reason for you to control your relationship or control your twin flame the only thing that you have to do is to love your twin flame unconditionally because no matter what it, no no matter what your twin flame is doing all you have to do is to love them and support them and that's how you teach them what god is that's what that's how you teach them what true love is by loving them and by supporting them not by controlling them and trying to force anything on them so that's the message that i wanted to give you guys today i really hope you really question all of this to yourself and you go deeper in your union in your harmonious union and um yeah this is how you this is how you can live in heaven by just loving and uh allowing yourself to humble yourself and receive the guidance from your twin flame your twin flame is always going to show you that i realized that one of my blogs of spending a lot of time with ian because remember that it's always choosing as one right so like <laughs> we've been choosing together whether we are live together or not we've been choosing that together this is not just him so one of the blogs that i had towards that was that you know um basically i was kind of like resistant to receive his guidance and i was like you know in in my finances in many things in my life in a lot of things in everything i need my twin flame to succeed together we are better than alone but i'm just separate and so i was resistant to that because i thought that like oh maybe he's going to hurt me if i allow him to you know to guide me but that's just the lie when i allowed him to guide me it felt so relief and so much better and i feel that i can love him even more and that he look and that he can love me more too because now he feels that like i can i let him in more and uh and he lets me in more and we are partnering more and we're having so much fun like yesterday i was cutting you know his hair and um it was so cool we had so much fun and uh we all, we are always enjoying our time together and uh you know 
it's really living heaven on earth. Whatever it is, wherever you are, you're always living heaven on earth. If you are loving your twin flame and if you are humbling yourself and allowing yourself to learn from your twin flame, because remember that your twin flame, you know, God is always uh, uh, loving you through your twin flame. So it is safe for you to really humble yourself and learn instead of, you know, try to defend yourself. You don't need to defend yourself from your twin flame. You only have to love yourself and then, you know, allow God to do the rest. Love your twin flame and keep going there. So um, question yourself. Are you really loving your twin flame or are you trying to control? Are you afraid or are you feeling at peace? Question yourself these things and make a new choice so you can fast track your union or your harmonious union and you can be where you really want to be and accept where you are. Love that as a beautiful gift and keep going and, you know, and expanding your gift to, this, to the world. Yeah, good. Love you guys and see you in the next video. Bye.